Hello, hello, my nasties. Welcome back to another vlog. It is indeed another studio vlog day. So welcome, have a seat, hang out for a few minutes. Today is going to be a, mm, a bangs out of whack day. That's what it's gonna be. You know, I put a little bit more black hair dye into the purple dye that I usually use to dye my hair. And I think at least for on camera, that was a bit of a mistake because all of this looks black now, right? It's supposed to be more black along the edges and then a deep purple, but on camera, it ends up looking all black. Hmm. Lesson learned for next time. But anyway, what are we going to be doing today? Today is going to be a Patreon heavy day. I've been doing a lot of posting over on my Patreon because I asked my patrons, I have it up on the screen, so if you see me glancing over, that's what I'm glancing over at. I asked my patrons, if they wanted to see a sneak peek of my next coloring book, which is going to be released before the end of this year. So sometime between the middle of November to the middle of December is going to be my next book release. And overwhelmingly, I see the poll right now, overwhelmingly, I think I'm the only one. That, yeah, I see one vote for no spoilers, no spoilers, and there's over 20 votes for the give us a sneak peek option. So overwhelmingly I mean once again I never know what my people want I know what I want I know what I like but I I, I unpredictable y'all are unpredictable to me I mentioned this in a color and chat recently which I know that okay let, let me start over let me explain what I mean by all of this because some people don't watch my color and chat so I mentioned in my color and chat that usually what I like is not what my followers on Instagram, my subscribers on YouTube, my Patreon patrons, what they like, right? So some of my videos that I enjoy are my least watched. Some of my artwork that I love, my favorite pieces of illustration, least loved. They, the prints don't sell or the original never sells and other pieces just, they fly out the door really quickly. Other videos take off and it's just one of those things where I cannot predict what my own audience likes. And on the surface, that sounds like a bad thing, but in truth, that's actually a blessing because that means that inherently, I'm not going to subconsciously start to pivot towards material, towards topics and subject matter that people want to hear, to watch, to look at. Right, I'm going to continue doing my own thing because I'm not a mind reader. I cannot guess what people are going to gravitate towards. Therefore, by default, my only option is to be myself and to not veer in one direction or another according to popular tastes, right? So that's gonna keep things fresh for you and it's going to allow me to never get stuck in a creative rut, which is awesome. Because I feel that most people on social media tend to fall, oh, I just got a message, anyway, People tend to pigeonhole themselves according to the tastes of their audience. And then that's when the boredom comes in, the burnout. Well, baby, we don't have to worry about that here because I'm always going to be fresh. So anyway, today, today, let's, let's get back on track. Today we have orders to package. So to anyone who ordered anything from the Etsy shop in the previous couple of days, got some Etsy shop orders to package. I've got lots of Patreon work. Uh, the mashup illustration, we're gonna be drawing names for that because we're doing another Patreon mashup video. These videos are not exclusive for patrons. So it, take a look on my channel if you are new here or if you have no idea what the mashup videos are. I've done one. So go through my channel, look for the mashup video and you will see that I post them to the public, anyone can watch the video, anyone can enjoy it, but there's a heavy Patreon component to it. So we're going to be pulling names for the mashup video, and then I want to begin filming a color and chat, but that's going to have to wait until later on in the day, because I'm going to try to save my chatterbox because I have a fun little, cute little interview that I'm going to be filming with a fellow YouTuber and she's a subscriber of mine. <clears throat> she's a subscriber, she follows me on Instagram and I believe she's also a patron, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will be posting more info on that later. 
but that's going to be happening in the next hour or two so really i need to stop talking because i don't know how long that interview is going to be but that will be up on her channel i think eventually sometime next month and uh, let's see packaging orders uh patreon work interview coming up and then people are just what is, what is going on sending me messages on iMessage or whatever i don't know the technology the the technology leaves me befuddled, but I'm hearing bells everywhere. So that is what is on schedule solidly for today. Uh, I would like to do some more work on, I'll say hi to the gremlin, Bentley. Bentley, Never mind. I want to do some work on my schedule for next year. I'm trying to watch my words here because over the weekend, I planned out my tentative list of coloring books that I would like to release for 2022 because 2021 just got off the rails. You all know that. If you're following me on any of my social media, you know I had a rough year. I never went into details, but we're, we're not out of the woods yet, but 2021 just was not kind to me for a myriad of reasons. But I'm getting my, my ish, as the youth say, or as I say, the shit, getting my shit in order for next year, I have the themes written out for the coloring books that I would like to release. I would like to set up a rough timetable and yeah, that's going to do it for the day. I'm not going to ramble on because honestly, I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I say I'm not going to ramble on, but I already did for about five hours, right? Okay, let's get on over to the day and we'll just, we'll just see what happens today. We'll see. We'll see. Oh God, my drinks, my drinks of the day. Oh, my fragrance of the day. I haven't done a fragrance of the day in a while because ever since I got all discombobulated by filming my, the intros to the vlogs over in the kitchen with just this, because I wasn't showing my face for a while, I haven't been showing you my drinks. Okay, but it's, it's never anything different. One day, one day I'm gonna blow your mind when I pull something exotic out of my hat. But today, black coffee, although I'm gonna tell you, I discovered something which is not a fresh discovery to me, but it's, I'll, I'll talk about it in the future someday. But at a coffee house in San Diego where I used to live, they used to serve a coffee called the Mazatlan. Mazatlan, it was a vanilla coffee with seltzer water, with, with Perrier specifically, coffee, and it tasted like bittersweet poison, and I've been attempting to replicate that forever. And I think I finally got it. So black coffee with a little bit of seltzer water, but we're gonna add some more. We're gonna add some more seltzer water, a little bit of vanilla, but for the moment, it's just coffee with a dash of seltzer. Yeah, it tastes like poison, but I love it. That and my boyfriend's back. Earl Grey is back. I put the, the English and the Irish breakfast teas away because I got myself a box of Earl. I love a girl, a good Earl. You, you can't go wrong with an Earl Grey. So I'm caffeinated. I'm gonna go do some cleanup work over on my desk and then it's time to interview. Then, well, no, this is what we're gonna do. Head over to the desk, clean up a little bit, package some orders. I'm gonna sit my butt down for my interview. Then later on, we're gonna do Patreon work and then whatever else I'm in the mood for. Ooh, this entire vlog was me chatting, wasn't it? All right, let, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just realized that I've been running my mouth and I did not give you my fragrance of the day. For those of you who are curious, whether you wear fragrances or not, you're curious what I smell like, because sometimes I stink like 1984, like that powdery, floral, plastic smell. Yeah, well, sometimes I wear perfumes from the 80s. Sometimes that's what I smell like. But today, my fragrance is in the bathroom. I don't have it next to me, but I'm wearing, let me go get it, let me go get it. I was wanting to keep my desk clear today because I have that interview and I didn't want things to start falling everywhere. Um, but she's wearing... <coughs> it's the mailman. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna wait until he stops barking because this is my life every day. It is chaos, it is chaos. Yves Saint Laurent, Black Opium Intense. It's lovely.
I just filmed my first interview with Ms. Michaela. Thank you. This one's going to start serenading us now. Anyway, that part of the vlog is done. I'm going to turn off the camera before he starts screaming. Thank you, Michaela, for the opportunity. It was very, very cute. I hope that your subscribers enjoy the interview. What are you doing down there? Ignoring me just like the other one? Oh, hello. Just like that one over there. Are you glaring at me? Are you falling asleep? Are you giving me stank eye? Because I think that's the stanky eye. You know what? Don't try to pretend that you're falling asleep. The people don't believe you. The people do not believe you. You're just teaching your friend bad habits. See, look at this. She won't even acknowledge me now. You know what? Both of you. Whatever. Whatever to both of you then. You all know how much I enjoy tea. I drink it pretty much daily. And now that it's cold out, or it's rather, it's cooling down, it's not cold yet out here in desert land, it's time for me to start breaking out the hot tea. And my new toy has been the flowering tea. How freaky does this look? Does this not look like a swamp monster? It's aptly named Dragon Lily Tea. It is freaky looking, and I love it. It's just a green tea, but it's freaky looking. Look at it. Oh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> you, stop it, stop it. You're being poisoned. Ugh. Ugh. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just going to stop trying. How pretty. It's pretty and scary at the same time. Something magical just arrived. <laughs> I can't open it yet because I'm just I I'm not ready for it I'm not ready to open it yet because this is the reality of my life sweeping I need to sweep that's why the broom is there we have to sweep first outside this is the aftermath of this previous weekend those need to get put away laundry laundry <sighs> cleaning needs to happen before I can show you what's inside but if you've been following me on social media you might know what this is I've mentioned it several times in my color and chats and a couple times in my vlogs but you'll get to see it later and there's also this my art table is covered in packaging materials for not only my personal brand but for cat eyes and cacti and another little venture that I've been working on which we will talk about at a later date definitely not today because I'm so busy ah! but packaging I have a new product that has recently arrived the dog is over there serenading us all do you see the state of my life right now? It is chaos. There's my laundry. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. He needs to get put away. He came out for the weekend, but there's the laundry bags. There's the big old box right there that we're gonna play with later. But, oh, the mess. That little mess right there, but we love that little mess. He's acceptable mess, right? Are you ignoring me because I'm being annoying? Bentley! Oh, you're so cute! Hi. <laughs> Hi, Bentley! Oh! 
I love you. I love you. Are you going to help me clean? Sir, are you going to help me clean our home? Say, no, that's not my job. My only job is to sit here and be cute. Hey, hey, here's some more. I realized that I made a recent shop update with what I thought were the final of the little miniature spooklets. And as I was going through the stash, I realized that these had not been added yet. So these need to get photographed and added to the shop. How cute is this one? Love that one. Kind of reminds me of me a little bit. The earring, the hair, the hat, you know. So, uh, I need to photograph these. I need to organize this. I need to package some stuff. I need a package for my other little business venture. Organization just uh, collapse with me. Are we ready to see the beauty that is in this box? We happen to be matchy-matchy, but of course, everything in my world is matchy-matchy, right? Because purple. But look, look at the majesty within this carton. <gasps> ah, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh God, I hate to be a slave <laughs> to one particular company, but you have to give it to Apple. Even down to their packaging design is just flawless, 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 without a single flaw. Oh my goodness, this has been a long time coming. I have been without a desktop for quite a while, for years actually, and the desktop that I had was ancient. It was ancient and I've been working. I've been trying to run three business, well, two and a half, businesses one brand two kind of side they're all side hustles kind of at we'll get into it we'll get into the details at some point but i'm trying to run three different brands we'll say not businesses brands sounds more appropriate because of the scale but in any case three different brands on one old laptop was unacceptable Baby needs to start respecting herself and taking herself more seriously, yeah? And this is one way to do it. Oh, but she was expensive. <laughs> but, oh God, so worth it. Look at this. Even the strap, and this is hair dye, by the way. I wasn't rolling around in the mud. Dyed my hair. Look, I said I want to take myself seriously, but baby, I buy expensive things, but I'm still on a budget. I dye my own hair, okay? <laughs> I definitely dye my own hair. Oh, and this is this is the aftermath. But anyhow, even the strap is purple. I was a little scared because this purple does look a bit blue. It's just a little bit, and we, we know I have an aversion to blue. But let's crack it open. Oh, this feels so good when I tell you this is this has been a long time coming. Oh my god with the packaging. They they thought of everything. There's even a little tab here so that I can open it beautifully and properly. Cut apple, I hate to love you, love to hate you. Oh, but I'm so excited. And I know if you are new to my channel. I can be over the moon excited about something and yet you would never know it by the tone of my voice. I'm just not, I'm screechy like a harpy to be sure, but when it comes to excitement, I'm not a, that's, that's not me. I may make those sorts of sounds when I'm playing with the dog, but that is not how I express my excitement. It is usually a bit more internal. Okay, let's, uh, but Trust and believe that I am screaming, squealing, and throwing confetti around inside right now. Oh, I just, I can't get over the beauty of this box. I just, I can't. I can't. You guys. You guys. It says hello. <laughs> Ugh, I am a sucker for nice packaging. How do I do this? 
Baby, how do I get you out of your box? Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Perhaps there's arrows for a reason. There. Oh. Oh. It opens automatically. <laughs> oh, I think I'm more excited for the box. Oh, my goodness. Look how beautiful. Ugh, oh, it is a metallic, icy, grapey lavender. Oh, beautiful. I can't wait to see it in the daytime. Yum. Bentley is over here providing the soundtrack for this momentous occasion. He's, he's down here being kooky. You playing with your dog? Oh, Mr. Watery Eyes, hi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! Would you like a snack? Okay, okay, oh, oh, oh god! Stop scratching me! Okay, 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 okay. Snack has been administered. I was freaking out because I have this, this giant sweater on and his little claws were destroying it. Okay. How do I remove this diaper? Oh my God. I love it so much. You know what? I am going to stop filming. I need to enjoy this without holding a phone in my hand. And I will show you what this looks like when it's all set up, purple and beautiful. Oh, the mouse is even purple. Can you see this beautiful icy purple? Ugh, ugh, I'll catch up with you later. All right, it is the end of the vlog and we are finally, finally getting around to pulling these names. It is 1.30 in the morning. It's 1.30 in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to edit this into the vlog, but I am not filming this on the day that I had intended to because my computer came and then I got all discombobulated reconfiguring the desk and all of that because you know my brain, you know how it works. So. Here's what we're going to do. What we are going to do, let's put all of the colors in. We'll select them one color at a time, and then at the end, if I get a duplicate name, then we will redraw that particular category. So the blue ones were, God, remind me, the purple ones were the colors, the green ones are the yellow ones. Can you tell that it's after 1.30 in the morning? The yellow ones were the beverages, and the blue ones were the plants. Okay, so we're drawing for the plant first. Is this one or two? Two. Okay, so we'll go with this one. And then we'll draw the drinks. Oh no, they're getting stuck together. Ah! Okay, I'm going to try to fold it back in. Okay. Oh my gosh, is this one or two? What is going on here? Oh, this one. Okay. And then the color. Let's go with. Oh, this one's stuck to my finger, so we're going to go with this one. Oh, wait, is this two? No! Okay, let's try that again. Two again? No! What is happening? They're getting stuck. Okay, let me unstick these and shove them back in. Okay, this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> another one popped out, but I didn't touch that one. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. 
So we've got, this is the drink. We're going to do, Deborah wants a Long Island iced tea. Good girl, I love those. Long Island iced tea from Ms. Deborah or Mrs. whatever. Lisa Marie Gale would like roses. Classic. Oh, it's going to be a classy lady. Classy, boozy lady. Long Island iced tea and some roses. All right, I can dig it. And the color accent is going to be... Oh, how apropos purple. Okay, so Long Island iced tea, which is not a cocktail like you see often. I mean, it's common, but you know what I mean. Typically, when I draw cocktails, they're going to be something cute, like a martini or a Cosmo. Just, we love that martini glass, right? Okay, so a Long Island iced tea, roses, and purple. All right, this is going to be a fun one. Classy lady, a little sassy, a little, I'm telling you, Deborah. Deborah. Party animal Deborah. I'm not going to put you on the spot, lady, but... If you don't know what a Long Island iced tea is, just know Deborah likes to have fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get to work on this for the next vlog. I will likely have footage of it. So thank you to everyone who participated in this mashup to all of my patrons. Long Island iced tea. I don't even know what, what glasses those typically go in. Are those usually in a highball glass? I don't know. This is going to be... The roses are easy. I do roses in my artwork quite frequently, so this is not anything out of the ordinary. Purple, hello, I am the purple people eater. So purple, eh, okay, and put the Long Island iced tea. We gotta make this one fun now because of this. So all together, nothing kooky. The combinations that we picked are pretty, you know, easy to work with. Not super, you know, they're not gonna force me to be too creative of a thinker, meaning I'm not going to get too wild with this one, but we'll, we'll try to make it fun. We'll try to make it fun. And I'm looking forward to it. So thanks everyone for participating. Let's go. And that is going to bring us to the end of the vlog. I'm going to be, yes, I'm going to be going to bed shortly. This is why I'm starting to dim the lighting a little bit. But I'm giving you a shot of my shelf just to close out the vlog. Look what I found appropriately on day one of Dia de los Muertos. It's a monarch wing. And before anybody gets sweet, sentimental, and spiritual about the monarch wing, I thought the same thing at first. I go, oh, monarchs, they're a day of the dead staple. Yeah. Until I realized, you know what probably happened to this poor bug? <laughs> it was probably snatched out of the air by some bird of prey. We have little hawks and ravens here, so... <laughs> Wah, wah, poor butterfly. But anyway, thank you so much. Look, it's going to be remembered. I'm going to be putting it in my curio cabinet. Side note, I have a curio cabinet in which I keep little dead things that the desert gives to me. I have a dead moth in there. I have a fossil, uh, just things like that. So this will be commemorated in my curio cabinet. But anyway, that is going to bring us to the end of the vlog. Vlog, I said vlog vlog with a v okay if you would like some candy feel free my old lady candy we got butterscotch and cinnamons take one of these thank you thank you so much for watching everyone here on my youtube channel feel free to follow me on any of my socials everything that you need to know will be down below extra love to my patrons we are gonna have fun with this mashup so thank you for participating and with that Bye-bye. Go do something fun with yourself. Be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which. Just come back in one piece. And if you don't come back in one piece, I will be doing that to your skull. Which isn't so bad, right? You get to live in here with me. All right. Bye.